Hello, welcome back. We are looking at sampling with and without replacement having to do with probability. So in this situation we have a small raffle, three people in the raffle, and there are two prizes. So we're going to draw two tree diagrams. One if the winner of the first prize is allowed to win the second prize, and another where the winner is not allowed to win the second prize. So this is talking about, of course, with replacement, without replacement. That's what we're going to be dealing with. So in the first one, the winner of the first prize is allowed to win the second prize. So we replace the ticket back in there, right? So three people, Annabelle, Bridget, Kane, right? So we have boom, boom, boom. Annabelle, Bridget, Kane. And that's the first prize. Then again, we have three options. Annabelle, Bridget, Kane. Annabelle, Bridget, Kane. Annabelle, Bridget, Kane, right? So in this case, it could be Annabelle and Annabelle, which is kind of mean, but that's the way it works, okay? This is with replacement, okay? Now, without replacement, you can't have one person win both times. So first, of course, we still have Annabelle, Bridget, and Kane. But if Annabelle gets it, there's only two options, Bridget and Kane. If Bridget gets it, there's only two options, Annabelle and Kane. And if Kane gets it, there's only two options, Annabelle and Bridget. Okay? So you notice, you see the list of, of possibilities here is greater than the list of possibilities here, right? So that's with and without replacement, all right? So given that, if I asked a problem like what is the probability that Annabelle might win one of the prizes with replacement, or excuse me, without replacement, Annabelle might win one of the prizes if there's no replacement, well, it would be this one. That would be Annabelle Kane. There would be this one. That would be Bridget Annabelle, and there would be this one, and that is Kane Annabelle. So of the one, two, three, four, five, six, three of them, three out of six, Annabelle wins at least one of them without replacement. Okay? So let's take a look at a practice problem here. So, go ahead and read this and figure out if there's replacement here. There's a bag of candies on the kitchen counter. Three orange candies, five watermelon candies, and four tamarind candies. So my son reaches in and grabs one. He thinks it's disgusting and spits it in the trash. Then he reaches in and grabs another. Is this replacement? No, it's not, because he spits it in the trash, so he doesn't replace it. So these two events... The second time when he reaches in, there's less candies in there. So now, what is the probability that he grabbed watermelon candy both times? Okay, so go ahead and see if you can figure out the probability of that. Pause this and work on this problem. Okay, so you are back. Um, we are drawing a tree diagram here. We have three orange, five watermelon, four tamarind. For a total of three plus five is eight, plus four is 12, okay? So we have, in the first draw, it could be orange, it could be watermelon, it could be tamarind. Three out of 12. Five out of 12, and 4 out of 12, okay? And then, right, this could also be orange, watermelon, or tamarind, right? Run out of the room here. Orange, watermelon, or tamarind. Orange, watermelon, tamarind. Now, we don't replace here, so if they got an orange first, there's not 3 anymore, there's only 2, and there's not 12 anymore, there's only 11. 
Okay, orange first, so that means of the watermelon, there's still five left here, but there's only 11 candies. Again, orange first, tamarind, so there's four left, but only 11, so this is four over 11. Okay, notice the second round without replacement is always over 11, because we had 12 and we already got one. Okay, watermelon, orange doesn't change, there's still three left, so this is three out of 11. Watermelon does change, there's only four left, because you already got one. Four out of 11, and tamarind doesn't change, so it's four out of 11. Here got a tamarind, so this is three out of 11. Watermelon, five out of 11, and tamarind, there's only three left, so it's three out of 11. A little bit hard to read there, sorry. So, this is, well, it's just this times this. So we're looking at the probability to grab the watermelon both times. We want this one and this one. So we have 5 over 12 times 4 over 11. Okay? 5 over 12 times 4 over 11. So that is our answer. We can represent that as... That was weird. We can represent that as 20 over... What is that? 132? Or we can simplify it to, this would be 1 over 3. So it would be 5 over 33. Okay? Either one of those answers is fine. So I hope you learned a thing or two. Toodles.